Okay, let's first model a simple dome. Circle, origin, on green axis radius 600 millimeters, and another circle, center, red axis, and end point, and line tool, end point, center, and End point, end point, and iris, and delete, select the circle, hold control, follow me tool, and click, and select, push pull tool, down, 200 millimeters, okay, and view hidden geometry move select all move end point blue axis 200 millimeters and looks okay now file export stl millimeters and export in MeshLab, file, import mesh, open and OK, render mode flat lines, and show layer dialog, select faces in rectangular region, select and off, and let's check, OK and delete faces this triangle red triangle with points delete and ok and now filters sampling poison disk sampling number of samples 20 and apply close and now we can delete this first mess and open the mesh again ok and render mode flat lines filters remeshing subdivision surfaces midpoint and I put 6 iterations apply and close then filters, sampling, coronary vertex coloring, review, back distance, and apply. Close. Next, we need to do some jet painting. Jet painting, I select the red color. Okay and brush, square, hardness 100, and size 100, and we can close this, and start to paint. This area will be free from Voronoi pattern. With green color, you can repair if something goes wrong. And the last red faces. I remove the bottom faces by painting them with green. Then filters, selection, and select faces by color and I select the red color ok and preview and variation from red or hue we can adjust our Voronoi pattern and apply and close 
and now filters selection invert selection and apply close and delete vertices and faces the red triangle with points now we could add thickness here in mesh lab and do some smoothing with filters, remeshing, uniform mesh resampling and then remeshing and subdivision surfaces loop but it's better to add thickness and some smoothing in blender you need least blender version 2.75 to make next steps file and import stl and kubu 1b and i press s and move the cursor and 0 0.01 to scale down the dome now this branch Add modifiers and add modifier corrective smooth and repeat about eight times and only smooth and apply and another modifier solidify thickness I put here 20 and apply and now just file export stl and back to the mesh lab file new empty project and import mesh kubu 1c and now Render mode, flat lines. I use filters, remeshing, subdivision surfaces, loop, and apply and close. We can change the render mode, and it looks good enough. Now we can export this mesh or first decrease the face count. We don't have undo in mesh lab, so we can first do duplicate current layer if something goes wrong. And close the eye and select the first mesh. Render mode flat lines and filters remeshing simplification quadric edge collapse decimation and target number of faces it's half of the about 90,000 faces just apply and close let's see we can do it again remeshing simplification Quadric edge collapse decimation and let's try about 5000 faces and apply. Okay, look simple enough. Before exporting the mess, we need to remember to do filters, normals transform scale and 100 and apply back to the original scale and here some domes with 5000 faces in SketchUp and planning the rendering in Blender checking in NetFab for 3D printing surfaces closed 
and surface is orientable. 